Okay guys, I'm going to do an unboxing and maybe a assembly of this Graco 3-in-1 stroller car seat. See, it's a travel system here. Mode's nest. Pictures up there. Also says it's a Sullivan fashion. Other pictures here. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. Also link the product in the description. We got this on Amazon. And if you haven't and you're going to plan on buying some baby stuff from Amazon, make sure you sign up for their uh, baby registry. The baby registry because you do get discounts when you get closer to the date. For example, I think we got a, how much was the discount we got on this? I think it was like I think about 15 yeah. quite a bit yeah. so I'm just going to be taking it apart and setting it down here Lock it out of the way. you guys kind of see how it's packaged in there Wheels. A big wheel. Yeah, it's good when they're big because then they'll roll over stuff like when you're pushing it to maybe a gravel parking lot or something. That's the car seat. And a booklet with it. Where's the expiration date? Yeah, this was just made this year, so we looked at it on the box. Mm -hmm. We should have pretty good time, but see, they said that it should be somewhere here. Yeah. Yep. Just says uh, date of manufacturers 2023, fourth month. 13 day. Mm -hmm. So this is just only a couple months old. Set it over there. So it's gonna strap into your car seat so then that can clip into it. Front wheels. Just showing to put these in here and they just snap down. I'm gonna go ahead and put them both on there. It's got those on there. Maybe you put the tires on. They just slide in to the side and they clip in. Get those things to come out. Maybe push in this little silver lever and it slides right back out if you need to pick them off. Same over here, push that little silver button in, slide that wheel out if you ever need to take it off. Now we're going to be putting, opening it up, this little button here, you pop open, and it'll fold up. I'm going to go ahead and put those front wheels on there. Front wheels slide in. There's also a little button right here that's going to release that. 
if you ever need those wheels coming off. So push that button in, releases it. this on there the button back here right here it's going to get it to rotate up and down so you're going to be just grabbing that going up and down what's cool about this is that you can actually take it off and have it go both ways and then your baby pointed towards you this up and put it into your car you're going to be taking either this or that bassinet off and click these backwards and it folds up you can put that in your car take it where you need to get it off it's not these things that's what you would think since that's how you folded it down but it's back over here on this to get it unfolding I wanted to show you guys the car seat before I went and actually put it in the car. Of course, there's a little visor. Move the handle the button here. Use the belt locking system. There's actually a little button inside here that you have to push. So it gets that to undo. And then to tighten it up, you're going to be pulling that. It's going to pull it tight. Uh, I was told you're supposed to just have one finger in there, tighten it down to the baby. You take out the little shoulder pads like we did, put them back on when he gets a little older. But when he starts getting bigger, this also comes off and you can move it up. There's little slots here, same with this. So the once he starts getting bigger, you can move these up. You're gonna do that here in the back. There's a little buckle thingy here. So you're gonna have to pull it out like that. It has a little buckle and then you're gonna Slip these belts through the higher one, back out, and then back into these buckles. This is the button that you're going to be releasing it from the car seat holder that's in the seat. See how I got my belt in there? I just took the buckle, ran it up, through, down, and into the buckle. This is supposed to fit tighter, but I'm getting it to rock a little bit. The booklet says it's not supposed to do it more than an inch. 
I think mine's doing it that more and I've tried to tighten it up and that's as far as it's going I've asked other people and they said that would be okay so looks like that's how it's supposed to go in if you have a different type of locking system you can also use that I don't think my car does or I just don't know where they're at but you can strap it down another way so I'll put this in so it just kind of goes in here and locks down in like so well, it's not going anywhere you can see it's to me it feels a little loose but that's how mine's fitting and then to get it out you're just gonna push that button it slides right out of there